Hey, what's up guys? Um, so I've been looking around YouTube and I've yet to seen a tutorial on how to change out the memory in the new late 2008 aluminum MacBooks. So um, I did it yesterday. It's really easy. It is a little bit more intimidating than say a MacBook Pro or um, the white MacBook RAM upgrade, but it is definitely doable. So you're going to need a couple tools. One, a uh, clean surface so I have just a microfiber towel here you guys can use whatever you want um, just as long as you don't lose the screws that you gotta take out um, you're gonna need a couple uh, Phillips uh, Phillips head drivers here right here I've got a double zero and a triple zero uh, I think the triple zero will be the best for us so hold on to that put those over there and um, let's go ahead and flip this Flip this over and get it started. Oh, before you do it, make sure your computer is off. Not on sleep, but off. So here's our MacBook flipped over. Here's the bottom, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and pop up the battery cover. And I'll just go ahead and set that aside for now. Won't need that until we're done. Here you can see the battery and the hard drive. So we'll go ahead, keep the latch flipped up to get the battery out. I almost learned that the hard way because I thought I had to pry the battery out, but I realized I had to turn the latch up to get it out. Just comes out with a nice little tab there. Kind of cool. I set that aside for later. And I'm going to go ahead and put my camera down actually. But before I do that, let me show you where you've got to unscrew. There's a Phillips here, there, one there, and there for four. And then you've got to unscrew that Phillips. Boom, boom, boom. So all eight of those screws must come out. I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys. Okay, so now that I uh, unmoved, that I removed all uh, of those eight screws, let's go ahead and lift it up. We'll see what's under here. It just pops right up. There's nothing attaching it. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside for later. And here we can start to see some of the guts here. We've got, of course, our hard drive at the top. That's our super drive, uh, our fan. And this is what we're looking for, our RAM right here. So here I already have four gigs installed um, that I ordered from OWC. And right now I'm just going to go ahead and um, put it, put back in my two gigs just to show you what it's like. And, of course, after this I'll put my, my four back in. Um, so here's how we do that. You just flip one part up, flip that up there. Okay, so after you pop up uh, the two little latches on the side with your thumbs, the card will automatically come up by itself. So we just go ahead, pull it out. Be careful not to touch the gold parts because those are the connectors and they don't like it when your finger juice gets on it. So I'll go ahead and I will set this right over here. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go ahead and pull that out. Okay, and here comes the second uh, 2 gig chip out. And there that is. So I'll go ahead and put that there. I've got it resting on top of my other, uh, my other 1 gig chips. Um, so just for time's sake, since those are already out, I'll go ahead and put those back in. And you can see right down here that we've got in our little tray here we've got a longer side and a shorter side so that's how you're going to go ahead and put those cards back in according to which side is which so right here I'll go ahead you just have to put it down in there very gently so it'll sit back down just give it a little shove in there with your fingers and push all the way down until it clicks in so that's seated really well don't ever have to worry about that coming out. And then I'll go ahead and grab my other 2 gig. Seat it down. Get the gold part in first. You can hear it kind of click. That's good. And then we push it. And that's seated in there perfectly. Um, I'm going to go ahead, close this back up, and we'll start it up. All right. Uh, now that i got everything uh, on the back end of the MacBook all um, sealed up. Let's go ahead and turn her on. 
Now, it's really important here, you want to make sure right there that you hear the startup chime. That means that you've installed your RAM correctly. If you don't hear that and you don't um, see your gray Apple screen come up, you'll hear a pretty annoying chiming noise. That's called the chime of death. But don't worry, your computer isn't dead. You just have to go back down, um, open your battery case up and everything like that and uh, make sure that you have the RAM seated correctly because most likely you didn't seat it correctly. Um, so I'll go ahead and log in here. And just to show, I will go into my About This Mac and show you that I've got four gigs now. It recognizes it just fine. Perfect. And that's about it for this uh, tutorial. Maybe I'll post some later. Take it easy, guys.